Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at the upgrade uh, to OS X Yosemite for the server application. Now Apple's come out with their uh, newest upgrade to their operating system, OS X Yosemite, and so that's come out uh, this past week. And so everybody's been downloading and updating their software and taking a look at some of the new features, uh, especially the new look and feel of uh, Yosemite. But the same is true for OS X Server. Uh, if you have already updated to Yosemite, you've already realized that you can't use OS X Server, uh, the 3.0 version or 3.2.2, I think was the last one. Uh, with Yosemite, you're not able to use that. You've got to upgrade to version 4 in order for it to work, uh, work with Yosemite. So there is some upgrading that you have to do there as well. So what I thought I'd do in this screencast is walk you through that upgrade process and then show you a little bit of some of the changes that have happened with the 4.0 software and just get a feel for uh, what that looks like. And then, of course, I'll be walking you through all the different steps and all the different options that we have inside uh, OS X Server as well in future screencasts as I go along. Uh, so what you want to do if you want to do the upgrade is you come to the Mac App Store, which is where we're at right now, and uh, scroll down here, and you'll notice that under the paid apps, uh, server is the top one on there. So obviously everybody's upgrading their servers, and uh, so they just click on it. So a nice, easy way to find it. And so this is OS X Server. Again, this is version 4. Uh, you can see that right over here in the sidebar. Uh, as you can see, it's $19.99 for the upgrade. So while you get Yosemite for free, uh, it is $20 basically for OS X Server for its upgrade. Uh, still one of the best deals in software when you consider that OS X Server isn't limited in any way. And in fact, uh, basically, you get, you get a full license to use it with as many users as you want, uh, as opposed to other options where you've got to pay per user and seed, or you're, or you're paying for lesser tiers and things like that. Uh, you're getting the fully functional OS X server software. So what you need to do uh, in order, order to get started is go ahead and purchase it. So just click on the uh, dollar amount here, say Buy App. And then you'll be asked to uh, basically log in with your iTunes, uh, with your App Store ID and password. So let me do that right now. And once you put that information in there, you just uh, click on Sign In. And it'll sign in to authenticate that. And so you can see it's buying the application right now. And you can see that now it's starting to uh, install the application. Uh, one of the things you notice uh, that's just a little bit different, uh, this thing didn't leap all the way down to the bar. Uh, it just started installing and downloading. Um, so you can track the progress down uh, in Launchpad. And you can see that the download is about 197.2 megabytes or so. So I'm going to let this finish its download here. should be done in just a second. And once it's done, then we'll be able to launch, uh, launch the upgrade uh, just to see what we're looking at here with OS X Server. So it's installing it right now. And we'll let it run. And once it's done installing, I'll go ahead and pull it up so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so it's uh, downloaded the application, and as you can see, immediately I get this server app replacement detected. So it lets me know that, hey, it's noticed that I've got a new version of server in there, so all of my services have been stopped, uh, and my service data has been preserved. Uh, so what I'm going to do is let me just, uh, let me just uh, well, actually, let's leave this alone. Let's just say okay so we know what's going on. And right within here, uh, I can say open, and it's going to actually open application so let me just actually let me put this down and what I'm gonna do is let's launch it now from launchpad so we go into launchpad we can see serve over here sparkling new there and so we're gonna click on it to launch it and basically we get this uh, new server screen and again very similar to the old one with the exception that now we have color uh, for the icon as opposed to the black and white we had before and just like normal we click continue to actually do the upgrade and so we're gonna click on that uh, we've got to uh, agree to the uh, terms and conditions uh, so basically, uh, it, again, you're also agreeing to one extra little thing here that you're going to use Apple services to determine the server's internet reachability. Uh, so basically, you know, you're okay with that. And we're going to say, okay, agree, we're fine. And now you have to authenticate. And once you get your password in there, you click allow. And now it's starting the update process. And so it's going to update all of the different services and things. And uh, it could take a little bit of time uh, to finish the update because it's going to go through and uh, basically write... Uh, the new files and things that it needs to make the service work with Yosemite and with this new 4.0 version. And so you can see it's updating web services and uh, it's nice. It kind of lets you know right down here what it is updating, uh, the different services that it's working on at the time. Again, we're working on calendar service here right now. And, uh, and it'll just kind of go through each and every one of those to make sure that everything is in line the way it needs to be for you to use the service. 
So just like I did before, I'm going to let this run, and uh, when it's finished running, then we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done doing its update. Okay, now that the upgrade is complete, it launches us right into the server application. Uh, the upgrade itself doesn't take too long. Uh, it just takes, uh, you know, just takes a little bit of time to do it, but uh, probably about five minutes, maybe uh, probably 10 at the max. And so it is a pretty quick update. And so you can see right away that the look and feel of server matches uh, the look and feel of Yosemite. And so it's got that translucent sidebar and all of the different chrome that was around the window has been removed. And we've got a more simplified interface. Now, just in, in looking through the different interfaces, uh, again, got a couple different apps, uh, icons over here. But even just looking at the server page here that I've got, uh, the host name, computer name's the same. But now we've got this internet uh, area here. And it talks about the eight services are reachable at my server. And so it basically is giving me um, some details on the different services that I've got set up and which ones are reachable, just to let me know uh, whether or not it's working or not. And so again, if I just uh, click on the details there, it's basically saying, hey, uh, here's the external IP address. Uh, here's when I checked it. And here are the different services that are available. So it's, it's added in there uh, a new check that lets you see, OK, so of the things that I've got set up, uh, how is it working? What, what services are, are working for me? And it's basically using Apple services to determine that. So when we said, yes, we're OK with that up front, uh, it enabled this service uh, to then basically do its own uh, kind of work on it to make sure that those services are accessible over the internet. So again, it's just a, a nice check uh, to make sure that things are working. And it's just sort of added that reachability feature in there, uh, which is kind of a nice add. That way you kind of know that everything's working OK without having to do your own check on your IP address and uh, on ports and all that kind of stuff. It's just built right inside here, inside server application. So I'm going to say done on that. Uh, but that is a nice, uh, a nice add that's uh, sort of put on there. Uh, as we just go through, you can see we're on ser server version 4. Uh, you can kind of go through the different settings, which pretty much all look the same. Uh, storage access uh, over here. Uh, this basically is just showing which, uh, which users have access and allow what con connections we're going to allow and all of that to the server and what, what ports they're accessing and all of that. So it's loading that up right now. Uh, but I'll go into more in-depth on all these things as well once we do it. Um, the office screen, again, this is for my uh, base station. It's going to ask for your password again in order to manage it. So you need to put that information in there. In fact, let me just do that right now so you can see that functioning. And I'll just click on Manage. And so now it's applying those settings, and now it's showing me all of the different ports that I've got open for my various services. So this looks you know, identical to what we saw in Maverick server. Uh, you've got your alerts area, uh, which again looks the same. You've got your certificates area. And just kind of going through the screens to let you get a feel for it. I'm going to go into depth on how to set every single one of these up uh, for OS X Server Yosemite. Um, but just wanted to go through it so you can see if there's anything different uh, that you notice. Uh, we've got logs, we've got stats, and uh, the stats again are, are the same, only the page, the icon looks a little different and the page is a lot bigger. Uh, so it allows you to, to view more there. Uh, you've got your users and groups, got your, uh, again, your caching service, and you can see there all the different uh, uh, software things that I'm caching. Uh, calendar has that information on there. And you can see the different permissions for different users and networks on there. And you can see the reachability now uh, is what they're putting on the status. That is the service reachable or not. Uh, you also notice just changes in icons and the buttons look, you know, more, um, more OS X Yosemite uh, look to them. Uh, and so, like you said, it gives you a feel for kind of what all these services look like and the different things that are in there. And like I said, I'm going to go in depth on each of these to give you uh, an overview, not only on just kind of what they look like, but how to set them up as well. I just want to come back here now because the access is done and you can see the different users that are accessing different um, different services over here and then the different ports that are open to make those services happen. So this is a really nice convenient screen to be able to see some of that uh, access information built right in there. And I'll go into more information in depth on how to use these. So hopefully that gives you a feel for uh, how server works uh, and just the new look here in OS X Yosemite. As you can see, the upgrade itself is pretty painless. Uh, I haven't put it through all its paces yet to see if there are any major changes or any, um, any glitches or issues uh, with the upgrade, but I'll certainly be doing that. And if I notice anything or I, uh, I hear of anything, I'll definitely let everybody know so that you know what's going on. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.